Hello everyone, I'm Bacon Bits here and welcome to my closure tutorial and playthrough. Uh, closure is a 2D puzzle adventure game and it uh, reminds me of another game I quite enjoyed called Limbo. Um, so if you haven't uh, if you haven't played Limbo or you haven't got or played Closure yet, I highly recommend it. Uh, they're both fantastic games. You can get them on Steam. Now Closure, this game is, I thought, f fascinating. Very interesting concept. It uses light physics um, and basically an an eerie atmosphere and illustration to the game, which uh, makes it great to play so we're gonna get we're gonna get started I'm using a Sony PlayStation game controller to play but you can use your keyboard or whatever you have now when you begin you you do like a mini tutorial it, basically you get control of your character and there's a small tutorial at the beginning which teaches you the controls and um, gives you an idea of how the physics work in this game. But for the purpose of this video I'm going to explain a little bit about it. Basically this is your little character and uh, the idea behind this game is everything within the light exists. Everything outside the light doesn't exist. It's as if it's not there. As you can see I can run around. Oh, look at that. I can run around and the floor is solid. It exists. However, if I drop that light and oh, oopsies. Yep. So everything that is not in the light doesn't exist at all. So it gives a, a kind of an interesting aspect to how you approach solving the puzzles because you have to understand that even though you know there's a floor right there it doesn't necessarily have to be there la 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 um, so there you go that's the idea behind the game um, when you approach the main levels you get three doors to choose from I've completed of course the first set of um, levels in the first door and of course as I show you the next three doors, um, I will have also completed them previously, just so I'm not running blind. Now we'll enter the first door, and we'll go to the first chapter. And of course, each door you uh, morph into a different character. This one looks to be a miner. Too bad he doesn't have a light on his hard hat. Alright, we're in the first level. Pretty simple level. Uh, most of the levels get uh, a start pretty simple and uh, get harder and harder as you go. You would have probably already learned how lights work. So all you do in this level is you should turn the light and drop. And there you go. Level complete. Alright, second level and what you do first is you pick up this you drop him in there and then you follow the light jump as you can see you're in the wall now but of course um, as the light travels up uh, you follow it you grab the light again and then you give that a push and that is it uh, one thing to note though there is a button here. Now I haven't actually figured out how to to get the wheel to hit the button here. But uh, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just completing the levels. Uh, I'm sure I'll make a video update if I find out. Next level. All right, third level grab that light that's water by the way up the ladder 
Now don't worry, you've got a light in your hand, you can swim with it. Travel around. Now what you do is, the door is right here. You drop the light there, they float to the top. Then you just grab another one. Float over here. Drop it about there. And run to the door. Alright guys, level 4. Pick this up. This is an easy one. Drop it, run over to the rising wall. Stay on the very edge. Then you can run across the top. And fall down here. Easy. Level 5. Here we go. Jump over there. Grab this box and push it over here. Drop it down there. Push it all the way across. It should get stuck. It gets stuck right there. Pick the key up. Push the box all the way to the left. Now you can jump up here. And you're home free. Level 6, I believe this is. I always get confused on what number it is. Right, in this level, it's a bit tricky. Uh, you do, there is timing involved. Uh, but basically, you got to get those um, drums. We'll call them drums for the sake of the video. Uh, the drums, you want to put them in here. And then the third drum, you'll get to smack this button. Now the way you do that is when you take this light, both this light and the one right beneath me right here are going to go out. And so are all the ones up the top there. So all the drums are going to fall down right where I am here. So when you take it away, you got to let one drum drop and then you got to put the light back really quickly so it has a floor to, to hit on. So you, you'll you see as I do it. Like that. Pretty simple. Now all you do is you push this one. Over there, it'll get stuck. Same thing again. You just do that three times. Push that one all the way over there. You can find his own way. Too easy? Yeah, it gets harder. There we go. Run back over to the light. Snatch it. La da da. And we're done. Level 7. And all you do with this one. Push this all the way over there. Grab the key. And you want to adjust this light. You want to adjust it so it goes past this little little nook right there. Then all you do is you grab the key. Push your box over there and run to the door level 8 and this is what you do with this one you push your box very gently so it's right underneath this one right above it so directly beneath the light and then you push that wheel it should fall on top like that Then you jump up and adjust the light. Pass the nook again. Then you can push these guys. And we're done! Yeah!